Welcome to week three, lesson seven. Today, we're gonna to talk about employee engagement. Many of you that are taking over new stores or about to take over a store, some of you have already taken over a store, you're probably realizing pretty quickly that you have some employees that are not engaged. They're not engaged in offering customer service, they're not engaged in upselling, they're not engaged in merchandising or cleaning, you can just go down the list item by item. They're just not effectively engaged in the business. And some of you will even walk into a store where maybe 80% of the whole store is just crumbling beneath you. They're just completely just destroying themselves. They're not engaged in what the company's trying to accomplish. They don't believe in the values, the culture, nothing. So I, I, I hope that I can help the manager that's brand new walk into a store that has average disengagement and then walk in a store that has complete disengagement. They say, there was a study done, that seven out of 10 employees are either disengaged or actively disengaged. Basically what that means is you have about five employees that are just disengaged, They're, whether it's because, whether it's upselling at the register or on the floor, or whether it's doing you know cleaning at night, or, or whatever it may be, right? Just average disengagement. Then you have on average about three employees out of that 10 that are actively disengaged, that are actually trying to work against you and the team. They're, if, they, if you were all in a boat, if there was 10 of you, you've got seven, or sorry, you have five that are not paddling and you have three that are paddling against you, against the rest of the team that's paddling in the right direction. That's a problem. Do you think you're actually gonna get anywhere? As a store? No, you won't. That's why you need to address employee engagement. That's one of the first things you'll be addressing as a new store manager. And we talk a lot about that in the first and second module of week one to really build a high performance culture and to get employee engagement. But again, we need to talk about it even in more detail in this training because you're going to need it. It doesn't matter which situation you're in, good or bad, you're going to need this training. Now, the first thing you can do is go down your roster, meet with every employee one-on-one, -on -one, find out what drives them, what's their motivations, are they happy with, with, with their work that they're doing, are they not happy, what do they wanna do, and you, after you've done all those interviews and taken lots of notes, you're gonna, you're gonna ask the questions and they're gonna do all the talking. You're gonna put a plus minus, or you're gonna put a plus or minus next to your employees' names. Plus sign, they're a keeper. They're either very engaged or, or trainable. A minus sign, they're not engaged, they're not trainable. You've gotta get rid of them. It's, a, it's as simple as that. You just make that determination right there after you've had those interviews and you need to get rid of those negative signs. You need to get rid of those negative people that are bringing down the rest of the store. So that's, that's the first step and one of the biggest steps in creating an, an engaged, high-performance store culture. So now that you've got rid of the bad, you need to start implementing your values, your core values, your core beliefs of building a high-performance team. What does great customer service look like to you? You need to teach it. You need to have it in writing. Every new employee being trained is gonna be trained on your customer service standards. Every existing employee that's on your floor, in your store, going to be trained on those new customer service standards. Next, what, what are your expectations on upselling? Everybody's gonna be trained. What are your expectations on holding people accountable? So if I ask us to make this change and you don't follow my directive, here's the red line. Here's what'll happen to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow through on my promises, good or bad. You need to have a, a management team. I hope if you're in a, in a medium-sized store, you need to have a management team that embraces all those values that are going in those beliefs and they're gonna turn those into actions and they're gonna follow up with each employee and make sure they are working towards those same common beliefs and values. If you don't have a management team, you're just gonna have to start having these lieutenants. People that are embracing it right away, you're gonna give them some empowerment, you're gonna give them some uh, over, oversight on a few other employees to help them 
understand the high the, the, the customer service culture, the upselling culture, the merchandising culture, whatever that's going to be in your store, you need to start having managers and people you've assigned to start that are embracing the culture to start training other associates on that process. Now, back to one of our training or, or our training on morning and evening huddles. That is where you truly build, that's where you lay the foundation for employee engagement. That's where you're going to be consistently connecting the behaviors and the actions with your team members, connecting those to the results. So when you're trying to build a high performance culture, you are gonna start connecting all of those specific examples where this employee did a great job upselling, this employee did a great job merchandising, this employee did a great job with customer service, and this is what it resulted. This was the end result of that. This is why we were profitable last week. That is where you start to build that engagement because people see that. They want to be, they want to be you know, recognized. They want to do a good job. That's where, that's where it really starts, my friends, is in the morning and evening huddles. So embrace those huddles. If you haven't already, I know some of you don't like to get up in front of people every day or you feel like there's too much to do. You, you, can't, you don't want to waste people's time. That's not if you if you're already, if you thinking you're going to waste people's time, you're already in the wrong mindset. You need to understand how important it is to have those huddles. That's how you get the engagement. Now, really, the last step of of employee engagement is the one-on-one, -on -one. being out on the floor with your team, with your managers, and witnessing good and bad that engagement that's going on in the store. And when you see good, you recognize it. You bring them into your office, you thank them, you tell them exactly what they did and how much you appreciate it. And then when you see the bad, you do the same thing. You bring them in your office, you tell them exactly what, you, what they did, what you, what you witnessed, and how you don't appreciate it. And this is our plan to change that. That is how you're going to get that engagement. Now, remember through this whole process, you as the store leader, need to be passionate about every single thing that you implement, everything that you embrace. You've got to express your passion about it. You've got to show it through your actions and you need to tell it through your words. Very important your team understands how passionate you are about each topic, about each everything that you're implementing in the store and that will make all the difference. Thanks for watching this training on employee engagement. Go out there, work with your team members, that are, that are trainable, get your high performers to train the trainables and get rid of the ones that aren't trainable. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next training.